Hi, welcome back to the Atlas Kitchen. Today we're making da pan ji. It's a dish from Xinjiang province in China. And what it is, is it's gonna be chicken that we cook with some potatoes in this sauce here. So traditionally the sauce could have some beer in it. We've decided to omit the beer because we've gone with some Szechuan bean paste, as well as some star anise, some cloves, some cinnamon, a lot of dark and light soy. So it's really big flavors. It looks like there's quite a lot of chili in it, but it's not really a spicy chili. It's more that Szechuan sort of slightly numbing um, pepper and chili flavor. So we're gonna actually just be cooking it in that and you're basically almost boiling it nice and gently, letting the chicken cook through. And then we're gonna serve it with some beautiful noodles, some cut up green capsicum, and as well as we've got some spring onions as well. So we'll start by putting some oil in a pan. So I'll put a splash of our oil in, followed straight away by our chicken. We want to go for a nice sear on top of that. And while that's searing as well, I find now's a good time to add the potatoes. So you're not letting the potatoes really to be seared. You just want them sitting on top because they're going to cook in the liquid. So now I've added the sauce in with the potatoes and the chicken, and I just want to turn it right down just to a sort of a simmer. So you might wanna add a little bit of water. So as the sauce is simmering away until the chicken and the potatoes are cooked, you just wanna sort of have a taste because it is soy based. You don't wanna over reduce it. You can always just add a splash of water. You want that real soupiness. It's gonna coat the noodles as well as the whole chicken and potatoes as well. So now I'm just gonna add the green capsicum into our dish. So just being sure to really have a taste of this sauce at the end as well to make sure it's to your liking. It's very easy to water it down and it's, uh, it's meant to be quite loose on the plate as well. And we'll get our noodles in also. So we've got our fresh egg noodles here, boiling water, and we boil them just for about two minutes or so, just so they're cooked, pour off the water, and then we'll be ready to serve. Now the noodles have been cooking for two minutes. We'll take those out, letting all that water strain off. And then our chicken should almost be ready as well. So once the chicken and the potato are cooked through, taste of the sauce to your liking, the capsicum is ready as well, and then we're ready to serve. So now I'm just gonna check that all the potatoes are cooked through, as well as my chicken, so they're nice and soft. Have a taste of the sauce as well, so you can really taste that Szechuan bean paste as well as the ginger and the garlic. And then what we'll do is we're gonna plate it all up. So at this point as well, if you just wanna add a splash of water, just to sort of bring that sauce, if you've over reduced it and it's looking a bit glazed, just a little splash of water is what brings it. I want a really nice pouring water consistency for this dish. And now we're gonna put the noodles onto the plate, like so. Spreading them out. And then we go on top with our chicken dish. So just spooning it all over lovely potatoes, you'll be able to see some of the chilies, some of the spices, and of course that really aromatic sauce. So, you know, this is a sort of really different, unique tasting Chinese food that I really love to, to cook. Something a bit different as well. But a lot of people may not have tried this dish, but God, it's so delicious. And then we just finish with the spring onion just all over the dish. It's a really, really nice dish, something that's you know, gonna be very tasty for the whole family. It's got a really interesting flavor, such an intense, fragrant Chinese dish.